If you're feeling like cookies, but you don't wanna turn on your oven, well, I have you covered. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make cookies with a waffle maker. You're not gonna to wanna to miss it. Hey everyone, it's Dorothy with crazyforcrust.com and welcome back to my kitchen. Today I'm showing you how to use your waffle maker to make cookies. That's right, you don't even need to turn on your oven. This is great all year long, but especially when it's hot. Um, it's a sweet cookie dough that's soft when it comes out of the waffle maker and then they get nice and crunchy as they um, cool and harden up a little bit. Um, I love dusting these with powdered sugar. They are a family favorite. Even the dog requires one whenever I make them. Um, these are super, super simple and I know you're gonna love them. For more delicious desserts and easy recipes, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Now let's get in the kitchen. Like all amazing cookie recipes, these start with creaming butter and sugar. So add half of a cup of unsalted butter that's been softened to a large bowl along with one cup of granulated sugar. And you're gonna cream that together for one to two minutes with your mixer until it's nice and fluffy. Then mix in two large eggs and one teaspoon of vanilla. Now we're gonna mix our dry ingredients together. So add one and a half cups of all purpose flour to a small bowl along with one teaspoon of baking powder and a half of a teaspoon of salt. Whisk that together and then add that into the wet ingredients. Use your mixer to mix it until the dough is nice and smooth. Now this isn't as firm as a regular cookie dough. It's kind of a cross between, it's not like it's not as thin as a waffle or a pancake batter, um, but it's not as thick as a cookie dough, it's kind of in between. And once your dough is ready, you need to preheat your waffle maker. I'm just using a standard, this is just a basic waffle maker. I think I got it at Target, it's nothing fancy. Um, you can use any waffle maker that you want, you're gonna wanna just preheat it. Um, if you have a setting, do 350 degrees. Mine doesn't have a setting, it just has like a ready button once it's nice and hot. Um, I do it on about medium heat. Um, you're gonna wanna spray it with nonstick cooking spray for the first batch. After that, I don't bother to spray it. And then I'm using a one tablespoon cookie scoop to scoop balls of dough um, onto my waffle maker. Now my waffle maker is round and divided into four sections so I can do four cookies at once. Um, it really depends on the size of your waffle maker. Um, if you're using a small one, you might only be able to do one or two at a time. If you're using a really big one, maybe a couple more, but just play with it a little. Once you do the first batch or two, you'll see um, how much they spread in your waffle maker and you'll be able to determine how many cookies you can bake at a time. These take about five to six minutes for the one tablespoon cookie. Um, once it's baked, open up that waffle maker. They'll be nice and golden brown. Now they'll be soft right now and hot. So you're gonna wanna use a fork or something to help you remove them from the waffle maker. Be careful not to burn yourself. And I like to just kind of lift them gently so that they don't tear. And I place them on a cookie sheet that has been lined with um, paper towels because that way they don't get kind of, they don't have that condensation, that moisture. The paper towel will absorb the, the heat as they cool off and they will crunch up as they cool. Now you're gonna just keep doing this in your waffle maker until all of your batter is done. Um, if it happens to be warm in your house or you notice that as you're going on, um, they're spreading a little bit more in your waffle maker, you can just pop that dough into the refrigerator for 20 to 30 minutes to firm it back up. Um, the first time I made these, it was in the winter and my kitchen was nice and cool. I didn't have that problem, but when I made them for this video in the summer, they did spread a little bit more in the waffle maker because it was warm in my house. Once they cool, they um, crunch up a little bit. So they're a little bit crunchy on the outside and soft on the inside. Um, they're not quite like a waffle. They're like, it's a cr really is a cross between a waffle and a cookie. Um, I love them dusted with powdered sugar. You could also dip these in chocolate and add some sprinkles. Um, you could even make chocolate chips in the batter, although that'll make a mess in your waffle maker. Just keep that in mind. Um, but these are super, super fun. They're super vanilla-y and sweet. I love these. These would also be great um, with ice cream or you could add some whipped cream with berries. So many different ways to serve them. Um, leave me a comment and let me know what you would serve them with and keep watching for even more cookie recipes.